The Goa government has refused to take responsibility for deaths at Goa Medical College, denying lack of oxygen as the reason behind COVID patients succumbing at the hospital. The state government held the deaths were due to critical condition of the patients. Goa Chief Minister Pramod Savant refused to take questions on oxygen death issue during the press conference last evening. When questions were posed to him, he directed them to Dean Shivanand Bandikar. When more questions were asked on the death and lack of preparedness, Chief Minister Savant even left the press briefing midway. Remember, over 70 patients have lost their lives in the Goa Medical College due to oxygen fluctuation in the past couple of days, putting the state government in the dock. Questioning and many questions need to be answered about accountability on the part of the state government. Under fire over lack of preparedness, Chief Minister Pramod Savant has announced the state government is going to take control of admissions and private hospitals to ensure COVID patients are not refused beds. Yeah, yeah, how many patients have died in GMC uh, for the uh, day? How many patients have died in GMC because of Explain the oxygen? We, we can't put this as a direct answer, you know. See, so, I think, 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 why is Goa breathless and what is causing so many deaths in the state's primary hospital, Goa Medical College? There have been 75 deaths so far and it is alleged that the inconsistent oxygen supply is behind the fatalities. With Goa government now announcing to establish two 20,000 litre oxygen plant in the hospital. But isn't that too little too late? My colleague Saurabh with this report. This is the Goa Medical College, which has become a hospital of horrors. Every day and every night, patients infected with COVID lose their lives due to erratic oxygen supply. This is the exact location where oxygen cylinders are loaded in trolleys and then brought to the hospital in tractors. It's alleged that tractor drivers are finding it difficult to maneuver. These are the tractors on which the trolleys are attached and on those trolleys, these are the oxygen cylinders. Now continuously, continuously several rounds are made through this tractors, oxygen cylinder are brought into this Goa Medical College Hospital. That's not all. This is your worst nightmare turning into reality. Oxygen does not even reach the COVID wards. The oxygen pipes are several years old and therefore the oxygen does not supply to the third and fourth floor properly and the oxygen level several times goes down, which is when the patients die. So how is oxygen being supplied to this hospital? First, Scoop Industries Private Limited, a private firm, is the supplier. The refilling plant of the firm is at Corlim, which is 15 kilometers away from the hospital. The oxygen is brought to the hospital in tractors and trolleys under police protection. Facing unprecedented heat from the opposition over the string of deaths, the Goa government has finally broken its silence. Goa's health minister Vishwajit Rane has said that 350 patients are shifted from the old GMC building to the new super speciality hospital. Earlier, the health minister had said that the super speciality hospital will be commissioned. He then retracted from that statement after India Today's report and now claims that it's already functional. He also assured the setting up of a 20,000-litre oxygen plant in the hospital as early as on Saturday itself. Most important part of this tweet was Goa's Health Minister Rane is appealing to the Chief Minister Pramod Savan to commission this block. So even if this place is still not commissioned, 350 people, 350 COVID patients have been shifted over here. So what is the government waiting for to commission this hospital? And is there no coordination between the health minister and the chief minister? But the opposition is unimpressed, directly blaming the chief minister for the fatalities. If I'm supposed that health minister also wants to record earlier saying that the maintenance needs to be done. The maintenance is taken care of by the GSIDC, which is Goa State Infrastructural Development Corporation, which is headed again by the Chief Minister. I don't know what the GSIDC is doing. It's taken scores of deaths for the Goa government to wake up. But even so, 
The situation continues to remain grim and there are no major changes on the ground as yet. With Saurabh Bhaktanya in Panaji, Bureau Report.